Hi, I thought you might be interested in just having a very brief talk about this new feature of scheduled transactions. And this is great. What it lets you do is submit a transaction to Hedera that gets frozen into Hedera. It's actually stored in Hedera. And then all the different people that need to sign it can individually apply their signatures when they feel like it by talking to Hedera and submitting the signature. And then when it has all its signatures, it executes. And so this is great if you have a case where you have multiple people that have to sign the transaction, you don't have to talk to each other. You could just have one person create it on Hedera and then everybody else simply sends a transaction that sends a signature to it. And when it gets enough signatures, it executes. Not only that, if you all know what needs to be created, you could all try to create it and we automatically make sure that only one of the creation attempts succeeds and actually creates it and all the other success, um, attempts to create it just add their signatures to it. So you get that for free. And so you don't have to even discuss who is going to create the transaction. Everybody can do it. So you could have something where you have an auction and you're all doing work and you, then you jointly decide to refund someone's money because somebody sent in money and then they lost the bid. You jointly, all the people running the auction jointly have to sign to refund their money. You can do it this way. We all know the, correct, the right transaction to create. So we all try to create it at the same time. The network notices that they're the same transaction. So just stores a single one and then merges in all the signatures of all the people that tried to create it. Um, and you could do all sorts of different things. You could build observers for another network and build a bridge this way. When you see an event happen on the other network, we all create a transaction uh, reflecting that. And then it, um, all our signatures get put onto it. And when you if you have enough signatures, you know it's good. And you can even do multi-layer signatures, which is a cool other feature that we can talk about. Uh, and I have talked about in previous videos that are on YouTube. Um, so this is a cool feature. And the feature we have right now is what I just said. As soon as you get all the signatures you need, so you know maybe it's a seven out of 10, as soon as you get seven, or maybe it's a one out of five, and as soon as you, well, that wouldn't be useful. Maybe it's a two out of five, and as soon as you get two, it happens. We will also be having a version two someday where you can schedule it to be at a certain time. And if it gets all the signatures it needs by that time, it will occur exactly at that time. It makes it more predictable. You could have, say you have to send someone some coins once a month, but you're afraid your computer might be down when you wanted to send it and you just wanna make sure you don't forget. You could set up a whole bunch of scheduled transactions once a month for all the future and they would automatically get paid each time. And it could even be multi-signature and then each of us logs in, puts in our signatures when we get around to it. And as long as you do it before the months are passed, um, it will happen. So these are scheduled transactions. Uh, it is a cool feature.